All right, I got to ask this question. How can I block somebody from my Google Workspace account, not Gmail, not free, but Google Workspace account, so that their email doesn't even come to my spam? Now, you do this at what's referred to as the domain level. So you either need to be the admin of the domain or you need to get the help from the admin to be able to make it work. Let me show you how do you block someone, either a uh, dom uh, email domain or an email address. Let me show you. As an admin, you go to admin console. In the admin console, you verify who you are. Now I can go over here to apps and I can go to Google Workspace. And then under Google Workspace, I go to Gmail. Now in Gmail, I need to come down here to spam and phishing. Under spam and phishing, I need to go down here and find blocked senders. So I configure blocked senders. Now I need to create a, a list. Now I've already got one list called domains to block. I'm gonna add another list called email addresses email addresses to block so I'm gonna hit save now I have two block lists now when it comes up I have domains to block and I have email addresses to block now I could have done this in one list but I'm gonna do it in two let's go to domains to block let's edit this and so I want to say what do I want to block I want to block gmail.com that's already in there I'm gonna block gmail.com I'm gonna save that Now you can see that I have one address in here to block. Now I'm going to edit the email addresses to block. Let me edit that. And I'm going to block, um, I'm going to add a new email address. And I, this is the email address. I'm going to block RL Burris at Burris Consulting. No, yeah, BurrisConsulting.com. Let's change that to TeddyBurris.com. Add the address. Now I'm going to save that. Now, in my blocking, I have two lists. Domains to block, it has one domain, gmail.com. Email addresses to block, it has one, and it's on rlburris at teddyburris.com. Now, I have the list. Now what I have to do is I have to go back and, and enable those. Now, under spam and phishing, you'll see that under blocking, I have, I have to configure. Now, I have my two lists. I want to use existing list for me to set this up. I now have two lists, domains to block and email addresses to block. So, I have to basically enable those. Now, by enabling them, you can see that they're being used and I have the ability to not use them and now I'm going to hit save. Oh, I need to block, I need to tell it, give it, always give it a, a description, domains and email addresses. And I'm going to save this. A little bit tedious, you have to create a list add domains or email addresses to the list and then you have to come back and you have to enable the list and you can see that this under block domains and email addresses I've enabled it and I've got two lists in there now let me show you what will happen if I send Teddy Burris an email address an email message and hit send you can see that that message failed. It kicked back to her. This is called bounced. It did not show up in my spam. If I go to my email account, one second, here's my email account. There's no email address from RL Burris here. And if I go look at spam, there is no spam. There is no email address in my email uh, account in this domain from RL Burris at TeddyBurris.com. Again, I'm going to go back to her computer because it bounced back to her. 
Now, I also blocked the Gmail. Let me go send an email from Gmail. I'm going to send an email to the same email address in the same domain. I'm going to hit send. It bounced back. So this email address right here, burrisconsulting at gmail.com, at gmail.com, sent an email message to TL Burris at Burris Consulting. It bounced back. And again, I go look at my email address, my email account. Again, I'm going to look in spam. I do not have a spam message. I also do not have an email message that came in from BurrisConsulting.com. The bottom line is, at the domain level of Google Workspace, if you create a list and you put an email domain, such as gmail.com, you put an email address, such as rlburris at teddyburris.com, and you enable that uh, at the domain level, it will bounce back to the person sending the email. It will not show up in your spam. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace guy. By the way, this is tedious. You got to create a list. You got to add domains or email addresses to the list, and then you have to enable the list. And you do all of that from apps, Google Workspace, settings for Gmail as the domain administrator.